Hi everyone, how are you doing? Okay, today, my weakness, we're making butter biscuits. I absolutely love biscuits and these are the swirly butter biscuits. They are absolutely gorgeous. You know what, let's just get going straight away. So what I need in my bowl, first of all, is some caster sugar, goes in like this. All my caster sugar goes into my bowl. Got the good music to go with it. And then I need some softened butter as well to go in. And that is unsalted. So get that all in, softened butter. Okay, and what I want to do is just kind of flatten it out with the caster sugar because what tends to happen is when you use the electric whisk is it just kind of all splashes out. So I'm just flattening that out as much as I can I just to kind of mix it all together. If you don't have an electric whisk, go ahead and just use a hand whisk for this. It'll take a little bit more time, but it should be fine. Okay, that should be okay. Right, just get that all back in now. Just gonna give me a bit of an issue. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna now use an electric whisk and cream this all together until it's nice and fluffy just as I want it. Now these biscuits, these biscuits don't take long in the oven at all, about 17 to 18 minutes on 170. So I have my oven preheating on 170. Right, let me go ahead and cream this together with my whisk. Okay, that is all whisk together. I now want to go ahead and add in my vanilla extract which has also stained my bowl. I need to go in with my egg yolk. One egg yolk that needs to go in. So just add the egg yolk, like so. And some salt as well, a pinch of salt. Remember I'm using unsalted butter. Just gonna cream that together again just really quickly. Just so that it's all nice and combined together. There we go, that actually is fine. That is as whisked as I need it, right. I haven't got curry today, so. Now you know Dipna likes to do everything quick, quick. So here we go, we need to sieve our, this is self-raising flour, by the way, which we need to sieve. So let's go ahead and just sieve our self-raising flour. Actually, whilst we're at it, we've got some corn flour. Just get that in as well. Corn flour sieved into there, like so. Okay, all in together. My oven is preheating. Okay, these are going to be a real treat for my tea today. I mean, the combination of tea and biscuits, you really can't go wrong. Nothing like tea and biscuits, right? Now that we all agree, we can move on to the next step. And what we need to do now is just fold everything together like this. So we are just mixing the butter and the flour and the sugar, the vanilla, the corn flour and pinch of salt together. So this will just take about a minute or so. You don't need a whisk for this, you just need to use a wooden spoon and combine it all together. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay guys, what I've been doing for the last minute is using the back of my spoon to combine this all together and my muscles. And you get to a stage where your hands actually start hurting, which means you're doing it properly, so <laughs> carry on for another 30 seconds or so. This is actually almost done. I don't know, how many swirl, swirly biscuits do you think I can make with this? Maybe 18, maybe 15, maybe a few more. Depends how big they actually. Okay, right, it's, it's fine. Okay. Right, what I need to do now is get that into a piping bag and use a nozzle like this which I have here. So this is really important. Oh, sorry, I shook the camera there a bit. <laughs> okay, this nozzle is really important. Um, 
you need a nozzle like this, about this size. I mean, how can I compare it? Maybe the size of my thumb? Yep, that's the kind of nozzle you need. So I'm now going to go ahead, put that nozzle into a piping bag and get this mixture in. Okay, you can watch. Okay, right, piping bag. Let's open that up. All right, I need to put my nozzle in. Okay. All right, that's as far as it's going to go. And now, let's fold that over one side of my jug like this. Okay, and now with the help of my spatula and my spoon, I need to get it into my piping bag. Oops. Okay. And it all should come in at once, so you shouldn't need to really refill this. Oopsie, oopsie. Okay, one second, let me do this. Okay. We can push that in later. Get that bit in the back, because there's not much left now. So, that's pretty good. I've got some skill when it comes to filling a piping bag, guys. Okay, right. <laughs> Move that in there, righty, and all the rest. There's not much left now. So, just put all of that into the piping bag. Like so. Okay, right. And that is it. Now we need a greased oven tray, or even better, if you have some greaseproof paper, line it with some greaseproof. I actually am out of greaseproof paper, so I have greased my baking tray as well as I can. Okay, right, I don't think we're gonna get any more really in there, are we? A little bit. Um, so yeah, if you have greaseproof paper, then go ahead and use it. Okay, this should be fine now. Okay, right, what we're gonna do now is just as well as we can, push that all to the bottom like this. Um, we start from the middle and then push down from the top, right, like this okay and then what i'm going to do is also close up the top using my <laughs> plain film trick as we all do okay right and then we are ready to pipe right let me just go ahead and sort this out there we go almost done okay so i'm just cutting off the bottom of the piping bag to release the nozzle Right, I think that should be fine. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, right, we are ready. So I have sealed the top with some cling film. There you go, perfect, right. This can be a bit tough because obviously the mixture is quite thick. Okay, so let me do a test. This takes concentration, everyone. Ta-da! For a first swirl, that I think that's pretty good. Maybe I think I'm not supposed to eat the mixture. Okay, right. Here we go, another one. Okay, so this does take some concentration. Look, you have to go round and round and round and then finish. Oops. I think that's pretty good, guys. My swirls have style. Right. Let me go ahead and do one. Do you want to watch? And one more. Okay. Let me show you one more. So leave a little bit of space in between them as well. It's, you have to press the piping bag quite hard. Oops. Because it's, the mixture, like I said, is quite thick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do all of them now. I managed to make a few more than I anticipated and I still got some mixture left so I can make um, more out of that but right now look at my swirls <gasps> okay look some of them did mess up like my swirling wasn't as good on that one but the others are perfect right these are ready for my preheated oven on 170 but just keep an eye on them because you don't want them to overdo let me get those in the oven and do up another tray and I'll show you what they look like guys <laughs> 
Look at these, look how delicious they look. Right, one thing I will say is that took actually under 15 minutes. So one thing which is really important is keep an eye on your oven at all times because everyone's oven is different. So usually on like a middle shelf, they will take about 17 to 18 minutes. These took actually under 15 minutes. So please keep an eye on them. Look at my biscuits. How cool. So I'm going to leave these to cool and then I'm going to present them and show you.